Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Welcome Kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch and I've got an unboxing video for you today. I've got my new Macabre box. Let's flip the camera around and have a look what's what inside. I'm really excited about this one. I've done a couple of these boxes and boxes now and I keep coming back and getting them because the stuff that's in them is just so cool. So let's dive in. So I've turned the camera. Let's have a little look what we've got in this month's box. This is the March box. I'm not sure when I'm going to get up, get to upload this. So, so March, which is the Earth Macabre box. If you've seen the other two unboxings that I've done, I did a February and um, and January, and they've been themed for the elements. And we've had it, January was air and February was fire, and so in March we have got Earth. So I wonder if next month then we will have water <laughs> I'm not sure if that way I might have missed that one so I only started subscribing in um, in January but it seems like probably they would have started it with a new year so perhaps that is going to be the case so March Earth the kind of the things they send with these boxes are also kind of really beautifully done it is a really really nice it's not the cheapest of subscription boxes but it is it, I think it's worth it for the quality of the items. They all, I know I keep saying this every time, but they're all made by kind of smallish ethical businesses, which is one of the things I really like about this box because sometimes you don't know what you are getting, um, you know, it, with some of these subscription boxes, but this one you really do. I know, and they do ship all over the, all over the world, but it does work out quite expensive if you are not in the UK. Um, and in which case you might want to look up the Goddess Provisions box, which I think is very similar to this box. Not exactly the same, but similar, similar things. So I'm going to pop that down. And straight away our sweetheart tea <laughs> with a heart, as in a stag on there, <laughs> which I think is funny. Which is 50 grams. Oh, brilliant. And it is loose leaf. I was thinking, oh, is it going to be tea bags? But no, it is actually loose leaf. So that is really cool. I prefer loose leaf tea. I'm making a mess of opening this box. Let's have a little look. Yeah, look. Mm. I wonder what this blend is. Oh, something just popped out there. Oh, that's my tea bag. <laughs> if you wanted to put it in a tea bag, that's nice. That's nice. That feels lovely. So a carefully designed blend of ancient tree leaves to support your strength and well-being, aiding blood circulation and strengthening the heart. Oh, lovely. Um, so it's hawthorn. You can see the hawthorns in there, actually. You can see them. Yeah. Lemon balm, ginkgo, motherwort, lime flower, dandelion leaf and rose hip horse. It's going to be quite cleansing, too, as well. Uh, taste hint is earthy freshness. <laughs> Although it does sound, it sounds like it's going to be nice, actually, from the list of those ingredients. Yeah, and it, yeah, so back tea, which I've not heard of this company before, and that is another thing I love about these these things. Obviously, I said already about them being smallish, like ethical producers, but I am discovering so many more um, brands, you know, smallish brands that I have not heard of before, and they, these people, they obviously seem to be right up my street, so I'll be checking them out, <laughs> and hopefully not spending too much money on more stuff, but, you know, for them, hopefully I will. Yeah, back to you. Pride itself on working exclusively with small local businesses. It's a 100% UK product, which is lovely. Herbs are grown locally on an organic farm. The bags wrapped around your herbs is made in the UK using wood pulp and is fully biodegradable and home compostable. The reusable cotton bags are made from fair trade organic cotton. Because, yeah, this is not one of those, like, sometimes you get those, like, papery ones. But this is actually a cotton tea bag, so you could just tip the stuff out and use that again. That would be quite handy, actually, to take out and about with me so I might start doing that so that is the tea what else do we have <laughs> bloom town the clearing black clay and tea tree treatment mass so okay so we've got our clay in there for for the earth wow that smells amazing it smells really good 
I wonder if there's charcoal in there too. I suppose it's black clay, so that's already going to be really drawing of any impurities. And the tea tree, really good actually for starting out spring, a nice cleanse. Give your skin a much deserved breather with our treatment mask for oily and acne prone complexions. Formulated with antibacterial tea tree oil and white willow bark extract, a salicin rich natural anti inflammatory and pore exfoliant. Free from palm oil, oil, animal products, weak sulfates, SLS, parabens, blah, blah, all the stuff you don't want to find in your thing. So that is amazing. And again, Bloomtown is not a brand that I have come across before. And they're from Cornwall. <laughs> so that is very cool in the UK. Because sometimes the things are imported. You know, they're from, from not within the UK. But it, it, so far in this box, the things I've taken out have been. Okay, so they... Oh, look. I'm not totally sure what that is. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. It looks a little bit like Jasper, but obviously it's too, I think it's too black, although sometimes you can get black Jasper. It will tell me in the in the leaflet. Sorry, I was a little bit like, duh, there, because I saw a message popping on my phone at the same time as I was doing this, so I'm filming on my phone. Oh my gosh, it's a massive book in the bottom of it books I love books super excited <gasps> oh my gosh the handmade apothecary healing herbal remedies now <laughs> I've probably got about 12 if not more of this type book but they are like they're just like porn for me. I love them. <laughs> I love them. And this, it, yeah, that just looks so beautiful. I wonder if this is recent out. Because I haven't seen this one before. Oh, look at some of the artwork in here. It's so lovely. So yeah, I haven't come across this. 2017, so it only came out last year. Herbal medicine, foraging, it's got things about information about foraging, wild green edibles, body systems, herb profiles, oh my gosh, amazing. The, the pictures are just gorgeous as well, aren't they? Female rep reproductive system, tea for heavy menstrual bleed. I know a few people who would love for me to make them some of that. Oh, amazing. I'm going to really enjoy that. <laughs> I think that's actually the best thing that I've had in one of these so far. I know some people don't like getting books in these boxes, but I actually really love it, especially like really good solid ones that you can actually use like that. Although, you know, I like a good storybook as well. But I think that is it, which just makes sense because that is probably not cheap, that book. Let me pop all that down and I'll put it all together so you can see all the things. We had the book which obviously tying in with the earth theme with the um, with it being herbs, the apothecary. We had the gorgeous tea tree and black clay mask. I've got loads of these little things everywhere. <laughs> Let's try and clear those up a little bit. So I will take a photo of all this as well. There's the stone. I'll put the stone on there actually, I think. So it shows up and the tea. Wow, so that's a lovely collection of stuff. I've actually got the candle that came out of the last month's box there as well, which uh, obviously that wasn't in this box, but that would just happen to be poking there in the side. So let's have a little look. Ah, this is the little card that tells you what's what in the box. So we've got our handmade apothecary, which tells you more about what's in the book. The clear and treatment mask. Sweetheart tea. Oh, it's moss agate. I don't know if you can see that on here, but it is really kind of black and white, which obviously you can get moss agate like that, but I don't think of it as being, I think of it as being having a slight t greenish tinge to it. It does feel really lovely actually as a palm stone. Yeah, lovely. So that is my March Earth Macabre box. I'll leave all the details down below if you're interested in subscribing to get this box. It is really, really lovely. I've not regretted a single one of them that I have subscribed for. So I'm going to continue subscribing until hopefully, you know, as long as they carry on delivering such beautiful things. And they're all really useful things as well. You know, they're not just like trinkets that end up being sat around and you don't actually use, which is, I also love that. So yeah, so if you'd like the information, I'll pop all that down below. 
and thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you very soon mm, da, 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 da.